this presentation material that I already talked about. Um, what's the weirdest things y'all use Git for? The co-instructors. I'm afraid I, I don't have any <laughs> any good stories there because I I, I think I I mainly use Git for for all the reasonable things. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I must admit that a little bit. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm hesitant to uh, to add and commit contents because you think that they are so to say uh, not um, matured enough. So then you prefer to. To work on them a little bit more. Um, then naturally, I mean, if you, for instance, are working on a in a Git repo just on your own, then uh, it's perfectly fine uh, to to just commit what is working in progress. Mm -hmm. And what I'm what I'm doing uh, uh, rather often is that I have then uh, like my own work in progress Git repo where I do whatever uh, clipboarding and editing. And then my, when I have some, some contents, then, then I migrate them um, manually, so to say, to the actual Git repo, which I share with the uh, colleagues. Okay. So, so, I mean, this is perhaps yeah. not very elegant, uh, but it works if you're working in, let's say, two or three text files and you just add files, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then it works. If you're editing in 20 files at the same time, then, then yeah. clearly uh, this is not a good way. Yeah. Um. If I could share that the weirdest thing is uh, I create branch and start working on it and just stop it. And then after a time being, and I am back, I completely, oh, I forget it. And it's oh. a lot of. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something other comes up, but then this one is a priority in the last list and come back and there was more mm -hmm. changes and commits and development on the call. And then I, okay. I, sh yeah. I always think that I should not do this and I should complete the things mm -hmm. and not try to commit it uh, to the main and then mm -hmm. completely forget it. And after yeah. a while, it's. Yeah. Oh, how, okay. what about you, Richard? Do you actually do any weird things or so i tried to use git annex to store not my whole home directory but the subdirectory of data i used to sync some other way and i'm not quite a fan of it like some of the problems like yeah like it sort of works but i'm not quite happy but Git Annex for the videos of this course works well. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. Should we get started? Yes. So, uh, very warm um, good morning to everyone. Yeah. Welcome. And, uh, if it is good afternoon or evening at your time, <laughs> good day. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so shall we go uh, have a recap of the last two days? And we have been uh, learning it uh, from the basics. Yes, that, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. So, um, so, so on, on the topic of today is Git Collaborative, and it will be the third day of, of Git together. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, as, as you suggested, Dania, we, we, we can recapitulate a little bit then from uh, from the beginning, what 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 are the core components of Git that we're using? And uh, but before that, I think yeah. because no, now at nine o'clock, perhaps some people just joined, so we could just uh, very briefly uh, introduce ourselves again. So I'm Johan Helsvik from TDC Supercomputing Center in Stockholm. Yeah, um, I'm I'm Tanya Pushpadas uh, from University of Bergen, Norway. Yeah. I'm got teaching with Johan today. And Great. again, I'm Richard Dars, but I'm not really teaching today. I'm just doing the streaming and stuff. So maybe I'll be off and see you later. Should I send you to your screen share? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, please.